Okay, guys, today I'm reviewing about the Simplex Pole Station. This is a 2099-9103 brake glass, break glass pole station. So, once again, this one is true double action pole station. So, the way to do that to um, pull it, all you simply want to do is you're going to take this little hammer, slam it down, and pull the T bar in it. So, once again, I do not have any glass on it. So the way to pull it is once again get the hammer, slam slam the glass and pull the T bar. So so yeah. Yeah. So right now the way to pull it, all you literally have to do is lift here and at, once again no glass and you pull it down. So now it's pulled. So as you can see, basically when you pull down the pull station, this groove right here. It's actually different comparing to the metal pole stations. Now, all metal pole stations can have a groove on it. So, yeah. Now, we'll go ahead and reset it. So, basically, to reset it, all you literally have to do... So, this one is actually spring-loaded. So, this one always flies back, flies, flies back up. So, right here, we have... In the inside, we have a button. This one automatically clicks. Right here we have the spring. This one's spring loaded. There it is. And right here we have the lock because actually it's open, so I don't know why. So I, I, I'm a fan of those. So if you don't want the spring, you literally have to do is just pull it back off. And now your pole station doesn't have the spring. See? You guys don't like so. Let me just let me just put it back on. There you go. So once again, so we're gonna read the basics again. So once again, fire alarm pull down simplex. So so once again, so it's so I'm gonna show you something about the dual action pull stations. Now basically with the fire alarm dual action pull stations, so they shoot this sh so right so it's a true double action pull station. A true double action pull station means you need to take the little hammer, like I said, slam it down, and also I said it, and also you can pull it down. There you go. So not only that, so and since for the for the dual action pull station, you can go ahead and let all you have, literally have to do is so if it's a dual action pull station with a push bar on it, so. They should be put on the push bar, push part here. The one you can pull, push in, pull it down like this. Push in, pull down. I mean, that doesn't do well. So, I didn't do it well. So, once again, push in, pull down. And once again, the spring is totally different. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you. Also, on here, I'm going to show you on, on the top. So, so, now this pull station... It was the mall number, so this is different. I think I made a mistake. Mall number is GPA, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, Z, A, H, A, Z, O, C, L, O, C, per. I don't know. Oh. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my phone keeps dropping. So, right here, that's the mall number. So, I'm going to show you how to install the unit. I'm going to show you how to install the unit onto the wall. So the way to install the unit onto the wall is you're going to have a back box on the wall, but not a simplex back box, like a back box meaning one of these, which I'm going to show you, which is this um, white back box in this thing, in this unit here fits, uh, fits right onto it. Sorry, it can't fit. Hold on, let me just push in the wires. So this thing actually fits right onto it, but it doesn't. So because the, the wires out of the way, you can see. Yeah, the wires are out of the way. So I, I, you see, we want to do is to install you onto the wall, and this one actually fits. So now let's say if this is the back box. So you're going to have the wall right here. You're going to have the wall right here with your wires coming through. 
Yeah, you're gonna take that, get your um flathead screwdriver, and insert into these two screw up uh, to into these two four wires into here, into into these two into these four terminals here. Or if they or if, or if it's there or if it's secure, or once they are secure, you may open up your device. And right here, you're gonna put up four screws that they give you. And you're gonna put <coughs> so you're gonna put in these four screws onto each. So right here, which I'm gonna show you now, you need to actually put hole. You need to put two screws in each hole right here. See it? Or it could be flush mounted if you two in the middle. So um, so for now um, I'm gonna show you on the back side. <clears throat> Once again, I'm gonna look on the back side again. <clears throat> so right here we have all the numbers here one two three four numbers and we got all the screw terminals I don't know which I don't know which one's the positive or the negative I have to sh I have to check um so right here this is so I'm gonna start with the four so right here I don't know this one I don't know this one could be the positive wire I guess in this one as well and the in the second mat terminal or screw, screw in the terminal, is the negative wire. I I'm not sure. So, I really like these devices. You know, really nice. And I separate this thing, I can't mount it into the wall, because the, the bat box can not fit. So right here, we're going to have, um, so right here on the back, if you see this thing on the left corner of, of this thing, we have this little click right here, this little clicker here. So basically when you um pull down the pull station, which I'm gonna show you. This pull station, I mean or this thing, this clicker, which I'm gonna show you, will be activated. So basically when you pull down the pull station, this thing will be activated on the back. This is called a clicker or something like that, so I don't know. So the way to um so big so basically when the clicker is activated. The fire alarm is pulled, and also that the fire alarm will sound. So that will make contact of it. So let me just go ahead and reset it. And basically, when you pull down the pull station once again, the handle is spring loaded. So basically, when you close the pull station, which I'm going to show you now, I'm going to take a zoom in. Yep, and close it. So basically, when you close the pull station, this thing automatically goes onto the left. But basically, when it's, when it's key activated, boom. This thing literally um, gets activated, so it's on the right. So, yeah. So I do not have a key for this because basically, I, I it, this so basically... This pull sheet, so this pull station came with a key, and I can't, I don't know where the, I don't know where the heck is the key. <clears throat> I think I actually don't have it, because it didn't give me one. Th that sucks, isn't it? That sucks, they, um, that's weird they don't have the, the key for this one. <laughs> sucks to be me. So, so basically, so never pull fire alarms unless these are your own, or you have permission, or it's an actual fire. So, I'm just going ahead and pull this. There you go. It resets. There you go. Very nice pull station to buy. So basically when you do this, look what happens. This thing automatically falls off. Look at this, see? I would never play with the play with the hammers. So right here. Um No I I'm done. So basically when you do this, this button does a click and everything. So yeah. And these these are coming to my videos right now. Um yeah. So all of you guys know that by my all my simplex dual action T bar, which is this. So So I'm gonna put that away and be done. 
So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow morning.